The weekend is finally upon us, but first, your Friday dose of NC Trends with your host of course, Shion Van Kale. Now, two security men who went viral after a video of them dancing was captured and posted by a customer have been sacked by their employers, the management of one of Chicken Republic's outlets in Aba, southeastern Nigeria. The poster revealed that he went back to the restaurant where he first recorded them, only to be told that they have been relieved of their jobs for always dancing while on duty and act tagged as unprofessional. This action, however, did not go down with many Nigerians who are currently dragging the eatery online. But in a new twist, the special assistant on special duties to the Delta State Governor, Osai Success, has offered the young men a job at the state media. Taking, taking to Facebook, the governor's aide condemns the food outlets for sacking the boys. Instead of promoting them for the free publicity and attention that it brought to the brand, with their dance. Well, it has been back to back call out on Twitter, and here are a few comments. Pressure says, or more, Chicken Republic team could have capitalized on this content or just turned this thing around for their brand instead of sacking those boys. Example, this is how happy you get once you place an order from Chicken Republic and then they place the dance. Foundational Ohala says, funny as hell seeing the tweet saying that Chicken Republic should have made this a trend. These guys were doing this for tips and this whole drama ruins the experience for many people. Sometimes just accept that people behave badly and maybe ask for a lighter punishment. This is a totally different angle saying that no, they misbehaved and it's fine to sack them. Finally, this one says 19% of Nigerians are always annoyed whenever they go out going to eat in a place like Chicken Republic after a stressful day. And seeing these two guys dancing is enough to put a smile on the customer's faces. I don't see any reason why they should be sacked. They've sacked them, but thankfully, they have new jobs now. Away from that, many Nigerians heaved a sigh of relief when the first set of Nigerians escaping the ongoing war in Ukraine arrived at the Nandi Azikiwe International Port, Airport Abuja. This was disclosed in a tweet by the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission earlier today. The Nigerian airline Max Air evacuating the citizens arrived in Abuja on Friday morning at exactly 7.11 a.m. The passengers numbering about 450 from Romania are mostly students who fled Ukraine to Romania following Russia's invasion of the Eastern European country. The federal government had on Wednesday approved $8.5 million for the immediate evacuation of 5,000 Nigerians stranded as a result of the Russia-Ukraine war. Here are a few reactions from social media users. This one says, no place like home. Welcome home, guys. Kudos to Nigeria on this one. Good news for a change. Really, we are so glad about that. Ola says, welcome back to your country of fuel scarcity, bad electricity. You have to remind them. And a country where one egg is sold for hate naira. Well, we have been here all this time and nothing do us. No matter how the challenges or hardships is, we still continue to strive. But nevertheless, I welcome you back. <laughs> have to remind them. And then finally, this one says, thank you, Nigerian government. Thank you so much. And then she claps for them saying, Abike Dabri is doing well, to be honest. Thank you again for bringing Nigerians back. Finally, <laughs> Nigerian music star Timaya has broken his silence over his arrest following the hit and run incident. On Wednesday, March 2, an Instagram user, Oshinobi Omoomi, who claimed to be the sister of the victim, accused Timaya of ramming his car into her sister after she challenged him for damaging her car. But in an Instagram live session on Thursday afternoon, the singer narrated what happened between himself and the lady. According to Timaya, after the lady accused him of beating her car, he came out to collect her phone number so that they could settle the matter amicably. He said he was still trying to collect her phone number when he saw four men running towards him. Not sure of who they were, he hopped into his car and tried to flee the scene. And in the process, he saw the woman on the floor. The music star said he visited the family of the victim and he never tried to escape from the accident. Timaya was arrested earlier by men of the Nigeria police force over the incident after the sister of the victim accused him of causing her severe injuries. This story has sparked numerous reactions online and here are a few of them from Instagram. Veshni too says those accusing Timaya of hit and run either are hypocrites or they do not know what it means to be around an incident scene on Nigerian roads. Even Folake, Folake for the night. Will not offer mercy. Really, you have to be for like a. All right, Daniel Raga, yeah, popular for his tweets on Twitter, says, Timaya, no one knows whether or not you are telling the truth regarding the lady who said that you hit her. It is your words against hers at this point. But you did wrong by zooming off in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Daniel. If you were not called out, you wouldn't have reached out. We hope this issue gets resolved, though. Yeah, we really hope that she gets well soon. 
Rita Wright says he was not trying to run, yet he blocked his sister who reached out on Instagram. And as at the time she spoke out, he was yet to be in touch with the family. Hmm. Wicked human beings lying through their noses. We don't know the truth, and we really hope that she gets well soon. Well, guys, that's all for tonight on Etsy Trends. Have a fabulous weekend. Chiumbankale will see you next week. Thank you.